Hey everyone, so this week President Trump has been off on a long trip to the Far East in order to bolster trade relationships, come up with a plan about how to deal with North Korea, and of course to make a number of barnstorming speeches about how crooked Hillary Clinton felt to win any electoral college votes in that part of the world. The last trip the president made was to Saudi Arabia in order to, amongst other things, finalise a multi-billion dollar weapons contract, and that part of the world's actually been getting along pretty fine, you know, as long as you ignore the facts, the news, and passing conjecture, although you could probably say the same thing about Theresa May's cabinet, really. The Saudi Kingdom has been cleaning house, for want of a better expression, for the past couple of weeks, with an ongoing proxy war against Iran that this week led to the resignation of the Lebanese Prime Minister and seizure of billions of dollars of assets. Numerous high-ranking officials have been whisked away by the government in a classic purge from the Joe Stalin playbook. Uh, the Joe Stalin playbook, by the way, should not be mistaken, of course, for the Joe DiMaggio playbook, which strictly limits using the baseball bat to hit baseballs rather than your political opposition. The latest purge, though, is Prince Bandar bin Sultan, who is who was Saudi Arabia's most famous arms dealer, former ambassador to the US and recent head of Saudi intelligence. Uh, so goodbye to him, I suppose. Um, back to Asia, though. Supposedly the Japanese love Trump, the Chinese love Trump, and don't forget that Trump really loves Trump. In all reality, though, the Japanese would love any commander-in-chief that offered them free military support, and the Chinese will literally say anything and everything if it means that Trump eventually agrees to drop opposition to formal recognition of China as a market economy under WTO rules. President Trump, by the way, is also going to be doing a tour of Vietnam. Uh, well, he dodged that one 50 years ago, but better late than never, I suppose. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.